Hey everyone, Natalie Uterno with Annual Canada. I'm cleaning out my dishwasher because I don't do it very often and sometimes I want to double check to make sure that my filter isn't clogged. So I use the Enyo dishwashing soap and I have the book here and I'm not sure if any of you have heard or seen or know that we have these incredible plant-based soaps and I'm going to be explaining to you a couple of these here today. So one of them, the dishwashing soap, it is a plant-based ingredient like sugar beet and sweet corn. So this is safe and non-toxic to be able to use in your dishwasher so that there's no issues with plumbing and your dishes have no film residue of a toxic on them because you're using the annual dishwashing soap. So on here it says that you need to pour one tablespoon or um, 10 to 15 mils in the chamber. So it would be in here. The same thing as you would put any of the other dishwashing liquids, you're going to put that directly in the chamber. I also like to put in my rinse agent, my calcium dissolver. The calcium dissolver is amazing for any, um, uh, like in the toilet, I use it for the toilet, but on here it says that you, um, okay, so it says it removing calcium and um, also like citric acid and plant-based lactic acid. So it's a remedy for that. So that means, again, you're using something that is non-toxic and safer than anything out there. So I trust the dishwashing liquid, but I also trust the, cal the calcium dissolver. I um, have even removed rust marks and stuff like that off of some of the metals and stuff that I've cleaned off. My next um, soap here is the Orange Blossom Soap, and you've probably heard me talk about this soap a lot. And the Orange Blossom Soap, what I love about it is a degreaser. It's a stain remover for any of your fibers like this but you can also use it to wash your dishes. So if you choose not to use cold water when you're using your dishes, your, your cloths, your duo glove or your duo fiber, you can use um, a couple drops of the wash up liquid in your uh, hot water in your sink, but you can also use it on your fiber and clean your dishes like that. But it is a grease and a odor um, and dirt remover from any fabric. So you can use it that way as well. Next thing that I have here is the marble paste, which is incredible. So it is for anything metals, it's for silvers, it's for your oven to remove all that grime and stuff that's on the inside. And I brought this out just in case because this uh, filter is, is really dirty. See how there's um, in that where all those holes are? I feel that it needs a really good wash and inside, it's really bad. So I took a container and I filled it with hot water. And what I'm going to do, because this thing doesn't come off in here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this in here and allow it to soak in some hot water so that I can go ahead and clean it after. So I'm just gonna dump that in here. She can put it upside down and do both sides. So I'm gonna put this in, in the hot water, but because this is, um, Oh, look at that. We even have a little bone in here. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> so, um, and that got caught in the filter. So anything can get caught in there. And so what I will probably do in here is add some calcium dissolver. And the reason why I want to put calcium dissolver is because calcium dissolver is for any buildup of calcium. And because this dishwasher uses water, I'm going to add a couple drops of this and I have seen this work magic in laundry rooms and things like that. So I'm going to put some calcium dissolver in this water, again, to allow the hot water to work on that filter while I clean the backside here. If I thought that this was full of oil, I could actually go ahead and add um, like oily residue, like buttery and stuff like that. I would actually be able to also add Oops, the washing up liquid here. And the reason why I want to do that is because it's a degreaser. So if this is full of oil, whether or not you use coconut oil or olive oil or anything like that, 
it may sit in that filter and when I feel it, it is a little bit. So I would actually probably go ahead and enter or add in there a little bit of wash up soap, either before at the same time or after. I don't know because I this is a brand new dishwasher, so I'm going to test this out right now and just use it like that for now and wait until the end to do that part. So in here, I have, there's a hole in here, but I can see right there, can you see here? I don't know if it's too far or not, but there's a sticky residue on here. It's um, rubbery, actually. I don't really know what it is. So I brought all my fibers here and I wanted to show you how I'm going to do this. So one, I have my uh, kitchen wand. The kitchen wand is incredible, it's amazing because I can reach further in here I can go in here and reach to clean out all the inside if I see anything's been trapped in here. So this is really amazing. I love this. If there is a buildup in between here where that seam is where the, the dishwasher opens, you can use some of the marble paste or use your wand to try to reach in there. And if you're like some of my um, clients who love to shine the stainless steel uh, interior of your dishwasher, you can go ahead and do this once a month, once every couple months or whatever, and it'll really take all the, the, the stuff that's built up from the heat when you're using the dishwasher, and it'll clean that and shine it. It would be the same thing as if you were to do it on your um, stainless steel fridge or your oven or your dishwasher on the outside. So I brought the marble paste just to show you just in case. Just remember that this wand is amazing and I love it because there's a little attachment at the end of this and what you can do is you can scrape it directly into your dishwasher like that, just a little bit, not too much. And because I have my hot water here, I can go ahead and put my um, fiber back on my wand like this, dip a little bit in the water, and if I wanted to apply this marble paste in here and make a really nice um, white paste to apply this on here, I could do that. I could go in here and clean this up like that and reach as far as I can because it's a long place to go. And, and, and if you don't want to get into the dishwasher, this is a really great wand. It's the kitchen wand. It's $28. It's amazing with this big scrubby on here. So this is awesome. And then next, because I want to clean in here, I can go ahead and use my dual cloth. You could use your dual glove which is a larger format, and you can put your hand inside of it. I like to go with this one because I can get into these little grooves that are a little bit smaller instead of using my large glove. If I wanted to clean the inside on the edges and the back and stuff, I could use the glove, but this one will suffice. There's a scratchy side on the back, and you don't have to worry about that because you don't really need to scrape in here. So this cloth and cold water is really all you need. But if you're already using hot water to clean out the, the center part here, you can go ahead and use some of the hot water with it because you're only going to be doing a light, gentle, circular motion like this to clean that off. So you can do that. And then we have the all-purpose uh, all uh, fiber. So I love this because it picks up, grabs, and traps everything that's on the surface. So if you wanna clean out that door, you can do this wipe it away and keep going to remove all of that to make it a beautiful shiny um, on the inside. So if it's crummy, this is what I'll use, the all-purpose, because it's got longer fibers, so the fibers will pick up and grab. So see how the fibers are, are, uh, are really long? So this is really awesome because it picks up and grabs and traps. And um, I can also wrap this really well around my whatever this thing looks like a, a propeller, I can wipe that down in here because you never know, there could be a lot of buildup in here. So I'm going to clean this off because if I want clean dishes, I want a clean dishwasher. And who knows how these things work and how they clean themselves. So I can go ahead with this and pick up and grab all the dirt that's in there, okay? So this is how it works. Because this back side has long fibers and a scrubby side, if I feel I need to scrub, I will go ahead and use this side in here. 
and um, clean all the components that are in there as far as I can reach. If it is too far and too hard to reach, then go ahead, grab your wand again and get in there with this fiber. And you can see how it goes right inside here. So it's really awesome for that. And I can reach further inside again using this wand and I can move all of this around to get all of this clean. So this is how you do that. Now to go back to this, which is what the original thing came, uh, how we, we started this. So this is awesome. This fits inside of here and you can remove all of this film that gets stuck on the inside. You can scrape it. It's just a uh, filter. And um, I'm gonna move this down and reach in here with this wand. And I will show you on here. Look at that. See all this stuff that's on here? This was inside of here. So you could use a cloth, you could use something else, but honestly, there's nothing better than this wand for scrubbing and scraping off of your surface. I'm going to go here as well. It's almost like you're brushing your teeth. You're getting into all these little areas and stuff like that. And it sat, the calcium dissolver sat in there for a few minutes. And um, so there, look at that. See this in here? You can't really see it too well, but I'm going to grab this fiber here because I feel like I might be able to just do it like this and pull all of this off. Like I said, I've not done this before because this dishwasher is pretty new. My old dishwasher did not have this that was removable on the inside. So I think that this is pretty cool. So I'm going to work that in there. I love this one too because it's super thick, but if you fold it this way, see how you can make a little sausage out of it? You can get right in there and again, scrape and scrape and scrape and get into all those little grooves. So I'm gonna show you close up. See in there, there's a lot of stuff in there. So I'm going to soak this again on the back side to let that calcium dissolver work. And go in there and one more time. Because obviously if my filter is clogged, there's no way that my dishes are getting cleaned the way they should be if this filter is full. We gotta clean this out. It's the same as the, um, the dryer vent, because I cleaned out the dryer vent with my uh, flexi tool a few weeks ago. And um, this is the same thing. So if you want your uh, equipment to be working really well, you need to make sure that you maintain them as well. It's like getting an oil change or um, going to the dentist for a cleanup, right? So look at this. Look what I just found out of here. I don't know if you can see that, but see there's stuff in there. Looks like string. I'm not really sure what it is, but there's stuff that's coming out of here. So I'm going to now clean on the back side of this. Put my... Uh, wand fiber back on and get in here see these little holes here i'm gonna get in there if you have a toothbrush you can definitely reach in with a toothbrush because there are parts in here that are super super tight and small so i think that next time i will probably grab a toothbrush to go in there oh look at that there's a hair in there i grabbed a hair out of there <laughs> you never know what gets trapped in here so I'm going to finish this off and add some of the um, orange blossom so no, soap now. And when I do that, like I said, if there's any oily residue in here, I will be able to remove all of that um, by using the hot water and the orange blossom soap. So this is how you clean the inside of your dishwasher and the important um, the important importance of the uh, natural plant-based soaps and how easy it can be. So have a great day everyone and don't forget when you're done and you want to sparkle use your uh, annual fill 
dry up all of that. And if you need, you can also use a scrubby to get into some of these areas if you don't have this wand. Have a great day, everyone.